and thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person. I got, I got to say this. I was watching on Facebook. And there was a thing on there about a movie called The Holy Ghost. You see that? See that? Made a movie. Guy got the camera and he said, I travel all over the world letting the Holy Ghost, you know, lead me and I'm Okay, sounds good. And I watched, I watched the trailer of it. The trailer of it. Haven't seen the movie. so I'm, I'm just saying, I just saw the trailer. <laughs> and on this trailer, they had these guys. There's, there's, a, there's a, a, a death metal band called Korn, K-O-R-N. Ever hear that? They're, they're, they were hideous. They were, they're ugly, demon devilish Anyway, one of the guys got, supposedly got saved back in 2005. He says, I became a Christian. And he left the band, right? So I thought when I heard that back then, I said, well, that's cool. That's kind of neat because these guys, were, they were out there. I said, that's all right. He had, you know, dreadlocks and tattoos and everything. It's, that's all right. But he, he left the band because he got, he got to be a Christian. God delivered him from drugs. He was a drug addict. I said, wow, that's neat. Had, his, had him on 700 Club, you know. Well, last year he decided to join the band again. So I thought, and then and there's another guy in there supposed to be, you know, like that, a Christian. So I thought, well, maybe, that's, maybe they're like, you know, maybe they got, I mean, I, I don't have a problem if, you know, the music would be kind of heavy, but maybe they, hey. So they showed him in this trailer. I'm, I'm getting way off base, but I guess I'm not. They showed them on this trailer, you know, for the movie, and they would come out before their concert, and everybody like stand in line to get into the concert, you know, and they got these guys with spikes and everything, you know, it's like death metal or new metal, they call it. And they're, and they're uh, standing in line, and they come out and they say, hey, man, anybody here ever trust Jesus Christ? And they'd be t t saying the gospel. And I say, wow, man, it's cool. Wow. They're going out, these death metal guys are going out and and they're, and they're leading people to Christ. It's, that's great. <laughs> then I looked up the lyrics to their newest album. And every song, it's like, I, I don't have to. You know, they dropped the bomb. You know what I'm saying? Every song. I mean, I'm thinking... You say about holiness? I, that kind of doesn't fit my idea of what holiness is. Now, I don't care about the dreadlocks. I don't care about the long hair. I don't care about the tattoos. I don't care about the spikes in the nose. I don't care about that. A fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. What, what are we thinking? You know, remember that story where Paul and uh, Silas were in Philippi and that demon-possessed woman was following them around, that demon-possessed girl, and she'd say, oh, these are servants of the Most High God. You remember that? Paul cast the devil out of her. If it was the day, they'd put her in a movie. Oh, hallelujah, man, this demon -possessed. See, I don't know. I, 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 wasn't raised, I wasn't raised as a Christian. Maybe I'm just too cynical or too skeptical to swallow this stuff. Like that. Pardon me for getting off track. But not everything it says, if they say Holy Ghost, listen to what they say. Read, look up the lyrics. Google the lyrics of their latest album. 